This next story is about your safety. We have all seen this happen. Motorcyclists riding between the lanes to get ahead of traffic. It's illegal, but a Maryland lawmaker is trying to change that. Transportation reporter Pete Montine is on that story. This is the view from the helmet of a motorcyclist, and what you're witnessing is outlawed in almost every state. It is called lane splitting, slipping between traffic, in essence giving motorcycles their own lane, albeit a very tight one. It would actually help all the traffic to move as well as those riding bikes. Kathy Shalega wants to make the practice legal in Maryland. The State House Republican is a rider herself. She says while this seems unsafe, this actually makes riders safer. They fear being rear-ended, sandwiched between a fast-moving car from behind and a stopped car in front. A rear-ender, if, if somebody isn't paying attention at a stoplight, uh, pulls up and, and hits someone on a motorcycle, it can be deadly. Riders are rallying to change laws across the country. Lawmakers just legalized lane splitting in Utah, the second state to do so after California. Michael Sayer is with the American Motorcyclist Association. It should be legal for, for the safety benefit for, for the motorcyclist and for more broadly the congestion benefit for all road users. Lane splitting appeared in the fast lane in the Maryland State House, but Chalega's bill stalled out after House hearings. AAA opposed the plan, calling it too dangerous. A spokesman said lane splitting ups the risk of side swipe crashes or riders being turned into. Riders will revive their push next year. They will use the extra time to educate lawmakers and those on four wheels so there is less of a split over lane splitting. It is not, you know, riding 75 miles an hour down Route 95. That's not what this is. I, I don't want to legalize that kind of behavior. Shalega says she will reintroduce her bill in the Maryland State House next year. She tells me she's hoping for a pilot program, a trial run for legal lane splitting. Lawmakers in Virginia might also take this up next year. Pete Muntean, WUSA 9.